If you've been working in verification for the past dozen, heck, even 20 years, you probably know the gentleman standing next to me. This is Mike Stelfox, distinguished engineer at Cadence and uh, just a longtime colleague. I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here to ask Mike just a few questions about what you're doing lately. Uh, specifically, you've been involved deeply in Accelera and UVM. What's the latest? Yes, yeah, so it seems here at DAC, it's uh, you know it's it's the the big thing. Um, there was Excel breakfast uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, saw a couple users. Um, I think AMD and Boeing were talking about they've been using UVM on real projects. It's solid. Uh, I've met myself with a number of customers, OVM based, uh, VMM based previously. N new to the area, uh, all moving to System Verilog uh, or System Verilog UVM. And uh, yeah, it seems seems like uh, everybody's really moving that way. Yeah, indeed, you see a lot of the UVM logos around the show floor. Yeah. That the trains. Yeah, it's, moving. it seems like a lot of the vendors are you know supporting UVM based solutions. I was just over at the Dualog booth. They're mm -hmm. actually uh, built a, a, a solution that works with uh, generating the UVM reg uh, package. Great, great. Um, there are a couple areas you know we see in the the newer features, uh, namely TLM2 and. Uh, phases which uh, aren't really solid but those uh, aren't features most customers are going to need so you know the core of UVM we see is really solid definitely recommend moving to it because it seems like that's that's what's happening indeed um, so a separate question one thing I'm noticing here at the show and I'm noticing with some of our customers as well is debug good old-fashioned debugs becoming much more of a pain than it used to be and I wonder why that is yeah so I think uh, what we're seeing, and, and we've seen this for, for a number of years with the Specman customers who've been around for doing verification for the last 10, 12 years, mm -hmm. um, and now more and more with the UVM uh, System Verilog customers, is that they're really good at finding bugs. And that's been our main focus in EDA is finding bugs, and that's, of course, the main focus of verification. But we're seeing now the case where people are becoming what I call bug-saturated, okay. where debug is actually becoming the bottleneck. Right. So, you know, they have more bugs than they know what to do with, and thus it seems like we need to apply some automation to, to help them weed through and prioritize. Right. Well, yeah, and it, traditionally, you know, we've all, all the EDA vendors have been providing various kinds of debug tools, including Cadence. We're really mm -hmm. focused around, especially now, UVM, E, and system Verilog-based debugging, source debugging, and so on. And those are good tools, but they're manual. It's still a manual ad hoc approach. And what we're working on, we've been working on for the last several years, is really trying to bring a more systematic way and more automation to the debug process. So that's an area we've been working with some customers in the last few years, and I think it's something you'll see some exciting stuff coming from us in the coming years. Great. Certainly look forward to it. Now, you're also involved in the system realization space. and. Um, can you tell us about some of the developments there? And specifically, we see a lot of System C, we see growth in its usage, and of course tools like C to Silicon are, are making it more popular. What are some thoughts there? Yeah, so a couple trends we see. Um, High-level synthesis, especially with C to Silicon, seems like we've really um, proven it now. Mm -hmm. It is real. We are seeing customers starting to move. Um, we found a couple years ago with the early successes of C to Silicon, the technology wasn't enough, we had to have a full flow, so we actually built a full TLM-based design and verification flow, mm -hmm. fully aligned with UVM. So you can actually start your design and your verification um, at the TLM level right. using the known, best known methods of UVM, of course applied at that more higher abstraction level. And that also is uh, gaining quite a bit of traction with uh, customers. Do you care to speculate what's where are we in terms of the tipping point where you'll be at, say, the 25% mark where people are migrating from RTL to almost exclusive system C? It's hard to say. The momentum's pretty strong right now. I would say in the next couple of years, you're going to see that, you know, sort of 25% shift. Um, the results are so compelling, you know, mm -hmm. reducing, uh, you know, maybe cutting in half the, the time for design, wow. having much more uh, control over the types of qual uh, power area timing trade-offs you'd like to make, and more importantly, being able to really reduce your overall verification time, which we're, we're all looking for ways to improve that. Absolutely. Well, hey, Mike, thanks for sharing your insights. Sure, Joe. Yeah, it's great, great talking to you.